Hi, James. Thanks so much for joining us today to talk about AWS Marketplace. Thanks for having me, Alice. It's a pleasure to be here. Just to kick us off, if you could kindly do a quick intro and a description of JustEatTakeaway.com and your mission. So I'm James. I'm the head of global technology partnerships at JustEatTakeaway.com. JustEatTakeaway.com is a global food delivery business. Uh, we're headquartered in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. I've worked for Just Eat Takeaway for eight years. JustEatTakeaway.com have been working in partnership with AWS for over 15 years now. Uh, it's a highly successful partnership and one that we're very proud of. The biggest mission and the biggest challenges for JustEatTakeaway.com are to achieve globalization of our products and our platform to offer a unified experience for our consumers wherever on the planet you are. And to that point, what are some of the business opportunities or challenges that you're facing at the moment? I think the biggest challenges that we've got are speed. So Just Eat has always been an incredibly fast paced and agile business. And I think we just need to continue to maintain that. I think as we've come out the back of the pandemic and everyone's starting to return to offices, we're noticing that as well. Uh, and I think now people are starting to react a lot quicker as well. Could, could you speak to the role of, of ISVs, software vendors, uh, within that, that mission and, and those opportunities? So we wouldn't be where we are today without support and partnership of the ISVs that we work with. That's everybody from those that help maintain our operational excellence and support our security posture to those who help enable our staff collaborations. I think with those ISVs as well, over the years, they've fed our success and we've fed their hunger. So the value of ISVs is, is, is fundamental to where we are today. There's so much technology that we could uh, evaluate to build ourselves, um, yeah. but it's not, our, it's not our, our key driver. It's not our key market. So why build it when we can buy it? Um, and I think we look at that across the whole landscape. So it could be anything from uh, our platform, um, platform architecture, um, and it could be everything all the way through to our maintaining our security postures. And you mentioned that you've been working with AWS for a long time. How's the role of AWS in conjunction with ISVs bringing better outcomes for JustEatTakeaway.com? I think it's a really good question. I think uh, those ISVs that we work with in partnership with AWS, especially with the AWS Marketplace team as well, it helps us identify new opportunities uh, and enable a really quick time to market as well. So we're saving a lot of time internally at Just Eat Takeaway by using, leveraging the AWS Marketplace. That's great to hear. Any recent transactions you can speak to? So we've recently started working with Wiz in the information security space. Wiz cover 35% of the Fortune 100. We had such an amazing experience working with the team at Wiz. We were quick, fast, nimble, and we managed to get our software delivered six weeks ahead of schedule. And so, and so yeah, you speak to AWS Marketplace and leveraging the private offer mechanism. How's that experience been? I think the experience with private offers has been um, highly successful at JustEatTakeaway.com. I think we, we work really closely with uh, the ISVs that you mentioned before. But also, we work really closely with our value-added resellers as well, who can create channel partner private offers. So it's not just us working directly with vendors. It's the whole life cycle um, and all the way through the process from working directly with that ISV through to working with channel partners as well. So we've got some really great successes there. That's great. And I think you've been looking at the self-serve element of AWS Marketplace as well. So we're looking to empower as many of our software engineers and product teams as possible by trying to build an internal software catalog and deploy that via the AWS marketplace will we'll really increase people's agility. I think probably the biggest challenge for us in this space is ensuring that we are very careful about the criteria of tooling we've got and also about the security methods that we offer to make sure that only the approved tooling is, is selected for purchase. Thinking about those two experiences, what then do you think is the main value that JustEatTakeaway.com are able to get from the marketplace? I think the introduction of the AWS marketplace into JustEatTakeaway.com back in 2017 has dramatically changed the landscape. And I think our time to market is a lot quicker. We're noticing that we're saving so much time in creating vendors in our backend systems and doing a lot of financial due diligence checks, which we would normally do and we would run through that process. I think by utilizing the AWS marketplace, uh, enterprise contracts, and also both private offers and channel partner private offers, our time to market is so much quicker, and that also brings a quicker return on investment as well. And I think we need to enable all of our stakeholders to, to evaluate tooling across the market. And I think using the AWS marketplace helps us with that. We can go in and we can find a vendor. We can then find alternative vendors. We can do independent market research to compare them. 
and it saves us a lot of time. We don't necessarily have to go out and run traditional RFIs and RFPs to get that information. We can utilize and leverage the AWS marketplace to get that information and get it in real time. So it's 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 massively beneficial to everybody at JustEatTakeaway.com. Um, and it, it wouldn't go without saying that our account team at AWS have been absolutely fantastic in introducing new partners and bringing new opportunities to the table at JustEatTakeaway.com. So what would be some advice or best practices you would give a buyer at the beginning of their marketplace journey? I think I've probably got two pieces of advice here. The first is having come from industry previously where there was always a, a reseller first strategy in place. I would say to work with your value added resellers to investigate the opportunity to do channel partner private offers. So that means that everybody is involved in that whole purchasing life cycle. And I think second to that, I would also say to work with your platform engineering teams and your, your architecture teams to understand that you've got the correct security, the correct permissions in place for your marketplace accounts to make sure that only the correct people have got access and you're not getting any spurious bills at the end of the month. And a final question to wrap things up. You know, we see that digital marketplaces are becoming the preferred route for both buyers and sellers. In your role, how do you see that evolving as a business enabler? So our global technology partnerships team consider ourselves business enablers. We're the hub in a hub and spoke model. So we get a multitude of different requests from varying stakeholders across the business. I think for us, it's all about promotion. So we're taking the ideas and the, the tactics and the techniques that are coming in from AWS and from our, AD, our ISVs, and we're promoting it across the business. So we're enabling that and opening up purchasing methods to all stakeholders across the business. That's brilliant. Well, many thanks, James, for sharing your insights with us today. Thanks, Alistair. Thanks for having me.